Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we bring this session into your hands. We pray for your blessings. We pray that you would open our eyes, give us wisdom and help us to learn something about you so that we can please you and we can continue to do all that we can do to make you, our parents, our teachers, all the people of this nation happy. And we thank you for what you're about to do. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hi guys, I am Auntie Sam, and today we will be learning about two builders. One who builds his house upon the rock, and one who builds his house upon the sand. Now, which house do you think will be stronger? The one which is built upon the rock, or the one which is built upon the sand? Now, let me tell you, the house that will be stronger would be the one that is built upon the rock. Because Jesus is our rock. And when we build our life on him, we will be strong so that when the storms of life comes to us, we will not be shaken. Everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew 7 24. Hi, boys and girls. Good afternoon. 
I pray that you all are well and keeping good. And I pray that God is continuing to cover you all and keeping you all safe. Today, we, our lesson is the two builders. And it is taken from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 29. Jesus was on a mountain teaching his disciples and the crowds of people. He used parables to get them to think carefully about what he is teaching them. So, boys and girls, what is a parable? Well, a parable is a story that Jesus used to teach when he wanted us to think very carefully. Here is the parable he taught them on the mountain. The parable of the two builders. The two builders went out to look for a place to build. One thought about where he wanted to build his house and how strong it should be. After searching for a while, he found a good spot. It was a rock and a solid foundation that he can build on. He started to work building. It was hard work, but he did it because he wanted his house to be strong. When it was finished, the rains came, the floods came, the storm came upon it. And could you tell me, boys and girls, what happened? Did it fall down or stood up? Well, if you said that it stood up, you are right. Why did you think it stood up? Yes, it stood because it was on a found a strong foundation. It was on the rock. Lovely. Now, the second builder went out also, and he looked for a place to build. But he was so lazy, he didn't think of where he wanted to build, just that he wanted to have a house, and once he had a house, he was good. So he found a flat, plain, sandy ground to build one, and set to work. So while he was building and putting down his foundation, it was moving, his house was moving. But he got it done, and he finally finished his house. Finally, the rains came, the floods came, the storm came. And what did you think happened to that house, boys and girls? Yes, it fell apart and was destroyed. Jesus was telling the people, and us as well, that the rock the wise man built on represent the word of God or the Bible, which is God's word, right? So Jesus said, if we follow and do what his word says, we are wise. For when trouble and bad things come upon us, we will stand because we have God's word and promises to stand on. But if we choose not to listen to God's word and to be disobedient and not to obey it, well, what do you think is going to be happening to us? Yes, we would be like the foolish man who didn't have a strong foundation. And when the troubles and the bad times come upon us, our lives will fall apart and be destroyed. So we are to be wise, like the wise man. He wants us to listen to his word. He wants us to obey his word. And that way we know that our lives are going to be good. We would be on the strong foundation. So listen, obey, and obey what? God's word, the strong foundation. Jesus is our strong foundation, right? So boys and girls, remember a parable is something, a story to think carefully. So as we do our story today and we listen, think carefully, am I following God's word? Am I doing what God's word says? If you are, you are wise and not like the foolish man. So do have a blessed evening. Take care. Till next time. Bye. <music>
The rock. Question number two. What did the foolish man build his house upon? The sand. Question number three. In our lives, who is really the rock? Jesus. Question number four. What happens when we build our life upon the rock? We stand in the knowledge of Jesus and he helps us to stand firm and not fall down. Question number five. What happens when we build our life upon the sand? When life gets hard, we will fall. And question number six. What are some of the things that we can do to gain wisdom? Read our Bibles, pray, attend church, listen to our parents and teachers. We will need palette sticks, rock, pencil, ruler, glue stick, and construction paper. So let's get started. Right, so first we're going to start with our house frame. I'm using my orange. You can use whatever color you like. So I'm just going to use my glue gun, glue edges. Same with the palette sticks, you can use whatever color you want to use. So I have some red, have some green, okay. and pink and blue. All right. So we're gonna make our frames here, just like that. First, I'm going to tack these and then we'll continue. Right, so I have stick one side, just have to make sure that you put them evenly there before you apply the piece. Doing it again here, just to show you. like this so you can write your name so they'll know that it's yours and you did it all by yourself right so there we have that now we're just gonna put some little accents so I have a little cloud here I'm going to stick right there right. I have a 
Ayan. So now we're going to get decorated with our stone. Right, so now we're going to stick our stone. What we have here now I'm going to just write in you can use whatever color you want build You know, Jesus Christ is the rock on which we stand. Right? Here yeah, we have that. Now we're just going to have our name on the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to have my little helper write our name. Have this week's craft. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye!